Okay, so uh, the topic for uh, this session is unified port to risk of five processor architecture. Uh, this will be the uh, technical presentation, and I will uh, introduce the implementation for uh, risk of five UEFI port. Okay. So uh, I'm Evan Chen from HP Enterprise. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the uh, this is the agenda for today. Okay. Uh, so uh, before I jump to risk five, I would like to have a, uh, this is the uh, short description for risk and system. So risk, the uh, probably most of people know that, but in case someone doesn't know that, so risk is the uh, reduced instruction set computer like ARM, Spark, or PowerPC, and uh, the instruction is in the fixed length. Uh, and uh, the, the instruction to be executed in one CPU clock. Okay. So uh, less instruction says just like uh, Resupply only support uh, only have 90 around 90 instructions so far. But of course it keep growing, uh, but not like Intel. Yeah. It's too many. <laughs> okay. So uh, better performance of instruction page because uh, the fixed length and uh, because the less instructions. So uh, you have to write more code for the uh, if, if you write a program in assembly, so you get a larger size, uh, not really large, a little bit large code size. Okay. So uh, in contrast, CISC, CISC, the complex instruction set computer like Intel uh, x86, and uh, there is a, a variance of the ins instructions, uh, and to complete a test by few, uh, a step, uh, oh, I'm sorry, to complete a task in few line assembly as possible. So it means uh, just like uh, exchange, uh, only one instruction, right? But if you do it on a risk property, you need three lines of assembly language. So because of this, so uh, six gets the less code size. And it's, it's very easy to write a program in assembly. Okay, so we can say uh, the risk is emphasis on software and the sixth is emphasis on the power, just like processors support the uh, specific instructions. Okay, so uh, what is risk five? That is from UC Berkeley, and the main purpose is the, uh, for the education and the research. Uh, but now uh, the ISA, the instruction set architecture become the open uh, open ISA for in, uh, industrial. So the the B means the variation. So why <coughs> variations? Okay. So risk of five can support thirty two bit, sixty four bit, one twenty eight bit, and uh, you can see here is the instruction groups. Uh, we uh, risk of five has the uh, integer instruction set and uh, atomic. 14 point bit SIMD compressed, compressed instructions, and uh, they do have, uh, I just saw the, the update, they do have the hash instruction, vector instruction, hypervisor, supervisor. So each, uh, they, they do have many groups. So it means if you are the risk of five uh, processor vendor, you don't have to you know, put everything into your implementation. You can choose a few or just one uh, for your purpose. So that's why they say it's a uh, variation. Okay. So um, uh, RISA five has four privately uh, operation modes: machine mode, hypervisor, supervisor, and user user mode. So it's very similar to uh, x86. Uh, they do have the ring zero to ring three. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, any questions so far? If no, then we just go to the uh, risk of five UEFI port on EDK2 OVMF risk five package on QEMU. <laughs> That's very long. Okay, okay uh, this is a very classic figure. Uh, I would like to start from here. So uh, as as we know, uh, EDK2 has defined uh, uh, something like a fresh device, and in the fresh device, here is the uh, volatile file for the reset vector, and 
Then uh, we have the F, uh, Fermi balance in the FD. In the Fermi balance, we, we have uh, Fermi file system. So uh, I would say the PI drivers, uh, all drivers, uh, just like PI, uh, PI driver, UFI driver, this driver, uh, are all executed in the machine mode, real survivor machine mode. Because machine mode is defined as the uh, for, for firmware to talk to hardware directly. Okay, so I, I would say the uh, entire UEFI cycle, I mean, uh, UEFI PI execution phase uh, from VTF, SEC, PI, DXC, and BDS, uh, all drivers will, uh, will be executed in the machine mode. Uh, of course, the runtime driver is the exception. Okay, so uh, once BDS to load the bootloader, you can have the uh, virtualization software. So that is, they will be in the risk of by hypervisor mode. And then if you go to OS directly, then it will be the supervisor mode. So the last one is the user mode. Okay. That is the application. Okay, so we just care about this, uh, uh, this portion. That is in UEFI. Okay, so uh, I will uh, describe the implementation what we done for resupply in each phase. So the first one is VTF, just like x uh, uh, x86 or ARM. They have the VTF for for the reset vector. So for resupply, we also do the same thing. So uh, we there is a register in in resupply they call machine track vector. CSR is the uh, control status register, just like MSR. So there are two standard values for this register. One is F something, another is 200. So one is high address, another is low address. But in most of the case, our FD, our ROM is located at the highest processor uh, address space. So, so we use the high, uh, high value for MTVC register. And uh, this register could be hardwired or hard coded, but uh, because we are in QEMU, so we just set this to to FF echo zero zero. Okay, so, uh, so Jin FW created this uh, uh, create this file, and uh, uh, actually we just have this piece of code and use Jin FW to patch this uh, address to SEC uh, entry point, then put it onto the uh, 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 put it into the VTF file. Okay, after this uh, system power on, then we can jump to SEC main, SEC core. Okay, so in, in the SEC core, uh, we start to we have to handle the uh, P copy image. <coughs> so uh, uh, we have to co uh, convert ELF file to to a P -cough image. Uh, actually, I should say we should come back to convert risk of five year and five to P -cough image. And we so we also have to handle the uh, risk of five relocation type because that uh, the, the relocation type is different from uh, X eighty six or ARM. Okay. So uh, after this, we do the we do two types of uh, relocation. One. The first one is uh, for FFS, and another one is for the firmware volume, because the uh, the the address is changed. So we have to to handle the relocation. So uh, for the uh, P call, we need a target machine type, uh, just like uh, uh, X86 or ARM. So now we have uh, 5032 for with a 32 bit, and the uh, 5064 for 64 bit. Actually, we do have 5128 for resupply uh, 128 bit processor. And then we have to define the relocation type uh, for, for the uh, P uh, in P -cof. So uh, then we can do the uh, relocation. Okay, so process binding. I think this is the one of the beautiful parts in, in UEFI. Uh, you just provide your process binding, head file, then you can support your processor uh, architecture. So for the risk of file, we have a header file for, for it. And uh, in, in risk of file, uh, any variable must, must be aligned at its natural size. 
So for example, you are anti-64, it must be arrived at uh, 8 bytes. And if you are using uh, UIT32, then you must be aligned at 4 bytes. So we have this kind of uh, definition in the uh, process of finding header file. And then we, we also force the uh, structure to, to be at 8 bytes alignment. Okay. So, uh, so next one is for uh, prepare the temporary memory. Because we are on QEMU, so it's much easier, right? We just load the memory from always, so we don't have to prepare a memory or initial memory for the next phase. So, but if you are working on the real platform, then you have to do that. Okay, then we jump to PEI, PEI phase. So, uh, uh, in PEI phase, platform memory initialization, uh, we don't need that, just local memory from OS. And then we provide the CPU hub to, to, to PEI. Uh, so, <coughs> We declare 32 bit for I/O and 32 bit for memory address. You can de declare that uh, to 64 or something. And then we have to provide the state jump and long jump. That is for risk of file. Actually, uh, each processor has the different state jump and long jump. Uh, this is for the stack switch. Just like um, if you launch an image and you, it's possible you want to exit from your image anywhere, anytime. So we must do a, a state balance something. So we need to provide this for, for risk of file. And uh, uh, this one is a little bit different than the Linux one because it, on EDK2, it requires the return value uh, to the holder. But the Linux one, it doesn't require the, the return value. Okay. And then we have to provide a, a library instance for memory read and write, and IO read and write. On risk of file, that is a uh, memory map IO. So so actually, the I/O read and write is just like uh, memory read and write. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, so this is uh, also a, a good one on EDK too because you just provide your uh, just provide your instance, your best lib, then you can support different uh, processor architecture. So for this file, we provide this best lib instance, and uh, the, uh, in the library. Uh, the libraries for something like uh, processor intrinsic function, enable, disable, interrupt, stack, switch, something. So uh, this one is uh, very special. Uh, that is the uh, PEI uh, service table retrieval. You can find this in the PEI section. You can find the spec. There, there is a one section in PEI spec for for PEI service table point retrieval. So now uh, you, you can only see x86 and ARM, but for risk, we need one for that. So uh, how can we do that? Uh, on x86, they use IDT to, to set this point. In ARM, they use another register. So for, for, uh, for a risk of uh, there is a the register in uh, risk of machine mode. It called uh, machine mode scratch. So we use this uh, register, re register to keep this point. Okay, so uh, this register, I mean, uh, MS Scratch CSR, uh, is not only maintain this. Uh, this uh, it's just it's not just maintain service uh, PI service table point. It also maintain something else. Uh, I, I I will describe that later. Okay, after uh, PI phase, then we go to we jump to Dixie uh, Dixie environments to Dixie IPL. Okay, any questions so far? So uh, in this IP we we did uh, not 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 much things. Uh, for x86, it has to switch mode from 32-bit protecting mode to uh, to long mode. But for Rizafire, the mode is always the same. So we just jump to to this code. We just load the DC IP, uh, DC dispatcher from firmware button and jump to the entry point. Okay, so. Uh, in the DC phase, you have to provide the ar uh, architecture protocol. So we have the uh, RISC-5 DC timer architecture, and the, this uh, this this protocol provides something like a register handle, set timer period, get timer period, generate soft SMI, as soft software interrupt. So uh, for this 
architecture protocol, we use uh, n time n time computer CSR from from RISC the five. Okay. So the next one is CPU architecture protocol. Great. So this protocol provides a function like uh, flash dash cache, data cache, enable interrupt, disable interrupt, and uh, register interrupt handler. So here I must uh, describe uh, the CPU register interrupt handle 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 uh, more detail because um, okay. So when I go into this. Uh, uh, when I go into when I go into introduce uh, the implementation of this, we have to get back to the reset vector. Okay, actually, uh, okay, this is the uh, the machine machine check vector. Okay, so we say it's in the high high address. So actually, in this uh, in this table. They have uh, many, uh, not just one interrupt handler. They have four interrupt handlers for different modes, just like user mode, uh, supervisor, hypervisor, and machine mode. So here is our reset vector, and this one is the NMI. Okay. So uh, when we do this, we actually have some uh, the, the corresponding code in SEC main. Okay. So it means everything is in a ROM. So when I do the when I, when I want to register the interrupt, I cannot change those value, right? And uh, I cannot change SEC. I cannot change the very value in SEC main, SEC core. So when interrupt happen, we <coughs> so we use the uh, machine scratch. Just uh, I just mentioned that it maintain the PI service table, but it also maintain a context. So in this context, uh, we define the we define uh, in this context we we maintain the PI service table point and we also maintain the the trap handle for each phase. So it means when the uh, and then the context is a memory. So it means when uh, every time any interrupt happen in any phase, we can change that context uh, and uh, then people can use the function to reduce the handle. Okay, this is the implementation for the for the CPU architecture, uh, for the uh, CPU register interrupt uh, interrupt handler. Okay, uh, this one is the reset architecture protocol. Uh, I didn't see any. Uh, I didn't see the spec mentioned about. I mean, the reset by spec mentioned about the reset mechanism. So actually, we we didn't provide this. We didn't provide a, a re we have the fake uh, fake protocol there, but we did nothing. Next one is a real time cloud. Uh, on RISC five, they don't have real time cloud, so we use QEMU. Uh, we have a, we use the uh, AT PCAT RTC from QEMU. Panel lib is used for store and. Um, Metronome takes architecture protocol uh, when we use the n time n time CSR from RISC five. Okay, and the, uh, this great thing is what uh, what RISC five miss. Uh, so they don't have SCPI, they don't have management mode, they don't have MP service. So uh, because uh, I think the RISC five people they are very good in the in data system. So. Uh, I think those things. I mean, the great, great ones. Uh, I think we need to work on work on that and have a proposal to to raise the file and discuss with them and come out with a solution. So after this, we get uh, raise the file on UEFI, uh, raise the file UEFI port on TM core, and put to share with USB keyboard and the uh, uh, timer. Yeah. Okay, this is the, uh, the whole figure of the, uh, the implementation of U of RISA by UEFI port. Okay. Any questions so far? No? 
Okay, uh, this is the s spec changes for risk of five. So now uh, we we send our code to to HP Open Source Review Board, and uh, we also have the ECR. The ECR was ECR was ready for uh, for submit to uh, to PI and uh, to to UEFI or so. Once the once we get approval from HP OSRB, we will submit this ECR. Yeah. So the ECR include the UEFI image change coding convention and uh, uh, the risk of five thirty two sixty four one twenty eight preference EFI debug support protocol and for the for the PI is risk of five PEI service table retrieval and the PI status code. Okay, uh, don't help to helps to talk to Microsoft. So uh, in the PE of image machine type, we have this three for risk of five. And uh, for the relocation type, we will, we will have this three. So uh, the Microsoft said they, they will release, they will have this uh, they will release this new definition in the next PECOF spec. Okay, uh, so because actually uh, risk of five people, they do have their own QMU, but that, that's very simple and uh, only, they only can put to the text mode. I think that is a good loader and with keyboard support. Uh, but in, in order to prove risk of I, uh, on UEFI, on EDK2, so we use PC84 for risk of I. So, uh, because PC, uh, because risk of I is memory map, so we have, we change some QM component, just like PCI bus driver, we, we change it to memory map, and RTC power management and uh, USB. I mean, uh, everything is memory made. So uh, I think this could be one of problems because I don't think this change can can be contributed to official QMU uh, official QMU copies. And another thing is uh, the one from UC Berkeley. Actually, he's a student. He's work. He's responsible for uh, research at QMU, and he's keep changing his QMU. So I think my our QMU is you know, probably is very different than 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 his. So this is uh, this is what we have to uh, to fix. So we we will work on this. Because once the ED, once we uh, contribute uh, once we upstream our uh, research by DK2 code to, to open source, I think people may want to try that. So we must point out where is the GCC and where is the QEMU. They, they, can, they can play it around. And also we both some research by uh, development board, so I think it would be a very fun, one of the showcases for DK2. Yeah. Okay, interrupt controller. They don't have interrupt con interrupt controller. So uh, I think the latest update is they would like to use very programmable interrupt controller. Very is a, a, a FPGA that is a processor stimulator. So the very PIC is attached to very processor, and it can support total 1024 interrupt sources. But we need more in resupply spec because there is no bus interface for for this by now. Uh, they don't use PCI, they don't use MBUG from ARM. They will have their own, but I don't have any information about this. Without this, we, we cannot have the... the uh, I think it's very difficult to 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 put the risk of I on PC industrial. I mean, just like notebook or server. And then we need uh, PI management mode support, support. We need SCPI, we need NP, and then we need Reset mechanism. I think we will keep keep work on uh, keep work with Reset Five Guide and uh, propose our idea, our solution to make it become the to be the product. I mean, to be the PC product or server product. Yeah. 
Okay, this is some real implementation. Uh, Rocky Chip, that is a uh, risk of five based SOC. Every risk of five people they work on this this um, this chip. And uh, there are some uh, small things like the 4K film camera and uh, some AD conversion and satellite navigation. Uh, yeah, that's a real case. Okay, that's all for today. What about code size? Huh? Code size. If you, if you, if you compare code size between... Yeah, between X5 and, and X86 uh, bias. I think it should be a little bit large, right? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't measure that. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, thank you.